Hello, Dr. RJ Bruno here. Um, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about holiday diet. Uh, for years I've uh, been uh, counseling patients on what to do on the holiday when they're on a special diet. Um, you know, trying to lose weight, let's just say. Um, and, uh, you know, Thanksgiving comes up or, or Easter comes up. Uh, what do you do uh, when you know that there's going to be a lot of holiday foods available? And what about uh, if you're a diabetic and you can't eat certain things, but you know those certain things are going to be available during the holidays? Um, you know, uh, the, the thing I usually tell patients is this. Um, you know, if uh, let's just say you're a diabetic and uh, you're coming up to a holiday. I tell them, um, try to um, avoid the sugar, sugars in the meal, um, of course. Uh, but, you know, I kind of want you to enjoy yourself on the holidays. Um, and I've, I tell them that one day is not going to make or break it uh, for your diabetes. As long as the day is up, to the holiday and the days after the holiday are in good shape, um, uh, you should be okay with your diabetes. Um, so, you know, enjoy yourself, but just don't go crazy. You're a diabetic, you don't want anything like cookies or pie or things like that that contain loads of sugar. For somebody who is trying to lose weight and the holidays come up, I um, usually tell them a little bit different. Um, I tell them that um, if they're, uh, they've been on a diet to lose weight and the holiday comes up, um, the best thing that they can do is stick to the meats and the vegetables. Um, these are the ones that have uh, the, um, the lowest calorie uh, per volume, meaning that you're going to fill up um, on these things but you're not gonna take in a, a ton of calories. Uh, protein is very filling. Um, and um, also vegetables, um, because of the fiber and stuff, uh, fill you up too. Um, so you're not gonna have a tendency to eat so many calories with these ones. Also, when you take in a lot of carbs, um, you basically kind of change your metabolism. Um, the um, uh, the high carbs, high sugar um, in the diet um, tends to convert your body from uh, calorie burning to calorie, calorie storing. Um, in other words, if you eat a lot of uh, sugary uh, foods, you're going to have a greater tendency to store fat as opposed to um, uh, burning fat. Um, on the other hand, if you just eat the meat and the vegetables, uh, which both are low in, in uh, carbohydrates, um, you're going to have a tendency to stay in the uh, calorie burning mode. Um, now, this isn't just my idea. This has actually been shown in research that if somebody eats a lot of sugar, um, their metabolism changes. Um, so, you know, that's why uh, being on a high uh, carbohydrate diet is not uh, a good idea. If you're on the holidays and you're eating a pumpkin pie and cake and cookies, um, it's gonna be worse for you than if all you do is just eat um, the meat that's available and the vegetables that are available. Um, so try to do this if you're still trying to lose weight and the holiday comes up. I actually did this uh, one Easter. Um, again, all these uh, sweets are available, etc. But I decided I was just going to hold myself to just, you know, the ham and the turkey that was available and whatever vegetables were available. Um, I think I had some salads. Um, uh, I think somebody made a... Uh, uh, a, uh, uh, a broccoli type dish, um, etc. And I didn't put on any weights, even though I stuffed myself. Uh, again, these foods are filling, but they don't have as many calories 
as if you have something that's, uh, you know, filled up with sugar. Um, and also because it was just meat and vegetables, it wasn't high in fat either. So the calorie amounts were not too bad. Um, uh, I've uh, mentioned this before, um, that if you ate nothing but broccoli, uh, you'd starve to death because broccoli is only 10 calories a cup. There's no way you can take in enough calories with just broccoli uh, to maintain your life. And it's also, um, by the way, uh, goes for some of the fresh fruits. Um, if you ate nothing but apples, um, you'd have a hard time putting on any weight at all, and you'd probably lose weight. Um, this is the um, diet from some of the models. They eat nothing but apples um, when they want to lose weight uh, because they know that apples are only 60 calories apiece. And realistically, how many apples can you eat a day? Um, you know, um, even if you ate 10, that's only 600 calories. Um, you're you're going to starve to death again before you eat enough apples to make a difference. So these are just some ideas. Um, meat and vegetables, if there are some fresh fruits available, um, it's good uh, to snack on those also. Um, but stay away from the high-fat, high-sugary foods, um, and you should do okay. Um, and like I said, if you're a diabetic, um, enjoy it, but stay away from anything that contains sugar, of course, because you are a diabetic. Okay, take care.